This is a Casey Tech School video on how we can use the multimeter and oscilloscope functions within Tinkercad to examine what's going on in a virtual Arduino circuit. In the last video, we used Tinkercad to build a basic Arduino Uno circuit. And we connected the Uno board to a resistor and an LED, and we connected that circuit to pin 7 of the UNO board. Then we used the code editor to write some code to blink the LED on and off. Key points from the code were setting up a setup function to set pin 7 as an output pin and then in the loop function we used the digital write high and digital write low methods to turn the LED on and off. And this kept looping over and over. The beauty of uh, Tinkercad though is that we can use uh, multimeter functions to actually measure and show you what's actually going on which is extremely useful. So if we scroll down we're going to grab a multimeter and we're going to put it in the voltage. We can choose three settings. We're going to use the voltage which should be the default setting. We're going to drag that across here and we're going to measure the voltage coming out of this pin which shows you really what digital high, digital right high and digital right low do. So to connect that up we're going to take the positive part of the voltmeter or multimeter connected to pin 7. Uh, multimeters have red and black wires there is another YouTube video on how to use multimeters in Tinkercad on our YouTube channel, so please feel free to go and look at that, which will explain this in much more detail. Now I'm going to bring the negative side down to either the same GND connection or the one beside it, which is electrically the same point, which is the negative side of the circuit. And usually good programming practice says that programming electronics practice would say that the negative side of a multimeter is usually denoted by the black wire. So now we've got the code up, we've connected our LED and resistor, we've got it working and blinking. We might just change the delays now back to 1000 milliseconds. Actually, we might make it 2000 milliseconds. It will give the multimeter time to show you what's going on. And we'll change digital right 7 low, turning the LED off to 2000. Time interval, we will start the simulation. So now you can see the LED coming on in two second intervals, two seconds on, two seconds off. The multimeter is tracking that pin being turned on by this digital right seven high. Now, if we look at this, we just stop this for a tick, we stop it, this USB, virtual USB cable that would normally plug into your PC uh, is disconnected. Now the USB, it supplies 5 volts virtually from your, your PC and also if you're using a real Arduino board, the other circuit in the USB circuit would upload the data from your editor into the chip and sometimes it would read some data coming back if you're checking on sensor values. In this case we don't need to do that bit. So once we start 5 volts is being supplied to the microcontroller. By the time, once we've put a circuit on it though, it's loaded it up a little bit so it uses a little bit of that voltage up. So we're getting nearly 5 volts, 4.6 volts coming on for digital right high. And for digital right low, we're getting 0 volts, which is the negative side of the circuit being switched through. So essentially think of it this way, we've got a 5 volt pin down there. 5 volts on this chip, it gets switched through to pin 7 for digital right high and then for low, digital right low, the ground side or the negative side of the USB or battery supply switching through 0 volts to turn it off. We'll stop that simulation. Another handy function that we can use in Tinkercad circuits or a virtual piece of equipment is an oscilloscope. If we look at the uh, basic library here, we we're able to use the resistor LED and uh, UNO board and the multimeter. If we extend that now to be all, it extends, it makes a larger library of all the components available to us. We scroll down, 
and find one called an oscilloscope. We might pop him over here. We can just move everything slightly. Pop it over here. And oscilloscopes are great for measure, measuring waveforms. In this case, we want to measure digital signals. If we look at the code, we've got digital write 7 high. We've also got digital write 7 low, which is turning the LED on and off. Although we can measure it with the multimeter with a value of voltage, we can see a waveform also by using the oscilloscope, which measures voltage here against time. We'll just get rid of the code editor for a tar start. We're going to grab the positive part of the, multi of the oscilloscope, put it across pin 7, like we have done so for the rest. We'll make a few bend points. Just so it makes that circuit look a bit a little bit cleaner. And the negative side we're going to put onto one of our grounds or the negative side of the battery or USB supply. Click that. Might make that black just to keep in keeping with the and we'll change that here. Okay, if we look at the code, we're going to change it back to 1000 millisecond delays. So the LED turns it off and on every one second or 1000 milliseconds and see what effect that has. Now with our oscilloscope connected up, we're going to hit start simulation again. We can see the multimeter coming on and we can see the oscilloscope coming on. The oscilloscope functions a little bit finicky. Uh, probably to do with the internet as well. But if we double click on that, I find that it's saying here the default is 100 milliseconds per little division here. So our code is saying turn it on for, it should be 1000 milliseconds. Just stop that again. The code is actually 1000, we're just changing the comment to, me, to match. Hit start simulation again. It is set up for 100 millisecond divisions, meaning each little grid is 100 milliseconds. So 10 of those would be the on time or the digital write 7 high. If I change that, it's a little bit finicky, but if I change it to 500 milliseconds, I find this is probably the best we can do. And now you can see that the digital write high is the upper value here and the lows are the zero and you can see this is a real digital signal now a high turning on a low turning it off we could be denoted by one for on zero for off it's a great way of visualizing what is happening out on this pin well the aim of this video was to introduce you to tinkercad's multimeter and oscilloscope functions and to be able to use them to examine the digital output waveforms coming from an Arduino Uno.